ready i'm starting the timer okay ma'am yes ma'am yes timer is on and here is the question <clears throat> right so if you read and understood kindly begin your session kindly begin hello Doctor Ishwak, Dr. Ishwak, are you there? Yes, kindly begin. Uh, hello. Yes, please begin. Uh, hello, I'm Dr. Ishwak. Sorry, I was muted. Uh, I'm Dr. Ishwak. I'm one of the surgical institutes. I am working up under Dr. Man. I'm sorry to uh, see you waiting for a too long time. So, how can I help you today? Oh. I've actually come for my husband. My husband was supposed to have a CT scan of his uh, tummy done, so we're waiting for that. Will it take much longer, doctor? Uh, you know, doctor man is very busy in the emergency department with another patient, so he has sent me to you to discuss the case with you. I'm mm -hmm. sorry that he could not. I'm sorry that he could not see you in person, but definitely I can help you the way. the best possible way and i can uh, make arrangements for you uh, but the situation is like uh, we have the ct scan machine is out of the order today don't read okay mhm mm uh wait you're saying me that my husband won't be able to do the ct scan today uh, i don't I'm get you doctor yeah that, that's right uh, we the ct scan is uh, that's not fixed that's uh, out of order today that has been that has to be fixed uh, before the next week it will take a week uh, so i'm sorry that we couldn't uh, arrange and we couldn't do the ct scan today but mr man said that the ct scan is very urgent and it's very important for my husband so i can understand uh, mm -hmm. okay so uh, uh, you know you have to give importance to this you know he my husband needs to uh, uh, get his ct scan done that's very right you are right i can i appreciate your concern but the problem the issue arisen has that the ct scan has been uh, there has been some technical issues with the ct scan and that couldn't be fixed before uh, it will take about a week but we can provide some alternatives to the ct oh my mm -hmm. god okay uh doctor could you please tell me mm -hmm. why are we even considering the ct scan for my husband okay that's a nice question uh your husband uh, you know he has this uh, uh, belly fluid inside the fluid inside his belly and uh, we have tapped it we have removed it and we have uh, done few tests on it and uh, which have revealed the cells the nasty cells which not which you know which are not good which are suggesting that uh, your husband might be having uh, cancer what okay <laughs> i'm sorry to say this but that's true uh, but uh, ct scan is to confirm the diagnosis and to see the stage of the disease where it could have been trout where it could have been uh, uh, this uh, what other organs uh, could have been involved so ct scan is important to stage the disease and to uh, plan the further management uh, of your husband 
Uh, wait. Uh, okay. So you're telling me that my husband is supposed to have his CT scan done today. Cannot go. Uh, cannot get it done. So isn't there something else? Perhaps you could suggest him, doctor. Yes, we can arrange some other some alternative, few... perhaps. Mm -hmm, that you are right. We can arrange few other investigations that would be alternative, but that won't be replacing the CT. We can do uh, ultrasound, abdomen uh, in your uh, husband, or we can do MRI. But that won't be uh, so uh, um, good uh, to look for the exact site and the exact external disease. But we can do for time being. We can do the to get a rough idea about the uh, stage of the disease. Uh, you know what, doctor? I mean, I, you should have told us before. You know that your uh, your hospital is having this very uh, mediocre. Uh, it's a very small hospital, and you know the you always have problems with your machines. You should have told us that before. You know we would prefer you know transferring our patient to some other hospital. Then you should have I done that before. I appreciate your concern, but uh, why didn't you transfer him from the start? You know you should have. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. We appreciate your concern, but usually we manage these patients, and we used to uh, make all the arrangements and the investigations in the period of one week. So, but if you think that uh, we, you need to that uh, you will ask for to transfer this patient, transfer your husband to the another hospital which has all the facilities. So we can do that for you. But routinely we do these cases, investigate these cases within a time frame of two weeks. But we respect your decision. We can ship this patient to another hospital if you want to. But for that thing, that uh, if we ship this patient to another hospital, the process will be started from the beginning, and this will this is going to take the time. They will investigate the whole case from the start, and I'm afraid that uh, it is going to take more time than expected. Okay, so could you please tell me, is it cancer? Mm -hmm. Are you confirmed it is cancer? Uh, Ma'am, uh, we can't confirm uh, it's cancer, but the features, the signs and symptoms which we are having gives us the idea that it might be cancer. And the fluid in his tummy gives us the idea, gives us some clue that it's an advanced stage of the cancer. But for the diagnosis, we need to do a CT scan and we need to do further tests as well. But uh, for now, we can say that this is a possibility it might be a cancer and that too in an advanced stage. Then doctor, will, will, will he require surgery? You know, he's uh, not feeling well now. So will the surgery be required at the moment? Okay. I'm very worried, you see. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can appreciate, I appreciate your concern. You're very right. Uh, the treatment depends upon the stage of the cancer. In your case, in your husband's case, the uh, situation is like we think the patient is having advanced type of the cancer and usually the, in these cases the surgery oh. won't be helping uh, surgery yeah, yeah. surgery won't be helping and uh, I'm afraid surgery will not be the definitive management in this patient but we can provide we will provide the best possible care to elevate his pain, pain and other issues Oh, okay, so recently my husband has been having a lot of breathing problem mm -hmm. and you know, but it's becoming very difficult for him to, uh, you know, lie down or while sleeping, he's mm -hmm. feeling he's running out of breath. Could you please suggest something for that? Why is that happening all of a sudden? Okay, let me explain this for you. The shortness of breath your husband experiences because there is uh, this fluid accumulating in his tummy, which is pushing his lungs upwards. So his uh -huh. lungs are not able to expand to the full extent that's called the shortness of breath in your husband's case. And we can do, okay. we can rate the fluid from his lung spaces outside the lungs, which are compressed sorry, from his tummy. So this should mm -hmm. provide some relief uh, to your husband. And we can uh, add some medications as well. That should be your husband uh, very nicely. Okay, uh, another thing, you know, you say this mm -hmm. is a cancer, so it's something serious. Uh, my husband's brother is traveling. So uh, should I inform him regarding this? Okay, regarding that, uh, my opinion is will be we should wait for the uh, results uh, and we should inform him about the, this condition after we have the, the all the investigations ready. Uh, my suggestion would be we should wait till we have the all the investigations ready and the reports. 
Okay. Let's oh, summarize okay. It. Okay. Quickly. Do you have any other questions for me? No, it's okay, doctor. Understood now. Yes, it would be best if you, you know, you all could just, uh, you could inform us as soon as the CT scan machine is again, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's for sure. Yes, we'll be definitely sure, uh, contacting you as soon as possible. We have the CT machine. I will, I'll be leaving my number with the nurse on the counter. So you can contact me anytime uh, you want to. Okay. All right, Good. doctor. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, doctor. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Your friends are happy. In the beginning, I thought yes. maybe you muted yourself to get the notes out. I hope you were not cheating. No, actually, I, I wasn't. I was... Uh trying to communicate about I had in the, yeah reading. in the beginning it sounded as if you're reading so uh, I wanted you to sound natural but then you became totally natural when you were explaining yes, how, what is cancer and why you think I, it's cancer I thought there is this uh, yes ma'am I thought there is network issue that's why I'm not uh, listening you were I'm muted already, yes I am myself muted and I wasn't aware when I came yeah through. so yes <laughs> it was I good <laughs> no, at this because it's in your own good. If you can't do yes, it, don't think I that I'm recording and for the sake of recording, you have to be no. perfect. <laughs> Whatever mistakes you do, you have to do them so that you can go back and correct yourself. And uh, exactly. like, you know, Dr. Usach, she has become extraordinary professional. Uh, she <laughs> herself in communication. Thank you so much, ma'am. Explains very well. That's why I ask her so that you can, when you discuss it with her, you see she asks naturally. She asks yes, as if she's doing like it's happening. So uh, size, gestures, you, everything. So that's why it's perfect. She's good. That's why I requested her to help you so that once you are uh, dealing with her, yes, you will get that connection. That. Yes, and then Thank you, you so will much, also become simultaneous. And at the yes. end, try to keep tap of the time. In last 30 seconds, you should just summarize everything that you two have discussed. And since you are the exam candidate, you should be summarizing it up quickly in the last 30 seconds. And the last sentence yes, should be, okay, I'll be leaving my number with the nurse and blah, blah, blah. So yes, Dr. Avishek raised hand. He wanted to say something. <laughs> Yeah, Dr. Ishwagar, it was really good, the fact is, but you were started like, how can I help you today? Yeah. And in this case, I think you okay. know the situation, right? Yeah. So at first, you'll just console him that he or she was waiting so long. So you have come to, is there any query, any something like that? Then must ask so her, like, I, I, how far you know about your husband? That's it. That must be. first confirm if you are the wife of Mr. X. Then yeah. how much you okay. know about the situation or the condition of your husband and then go ahead. Yes, Dr. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, ma'am, it's just a small thing. Uh, for, for every communication skill, when we're talking to the patient's relative or to the consultant, whatever irrespective, uh, we'll summarize at the end, as in every time, irrespective of whether it is an angry patient, whether it is counseling, whether it is a dharma, whether it is consultant talking, we'll just summarize that this, 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 this thing is going to happen to you. So yes, I've explained to you. Okay, thank you so much. Is there any questions? I think that is like just small uh, yes, thing yes. that I follow usually. Just summarizing at the end. Yes. Yes. Yes, Dr. Sure. Vishik. Yeah. And what else did and you find it out? Dr. Ishpak, you did really amazing. And yes. Yeah, I think Dr. Ishpak just uh, did it with a uh, like a real surprise because uh, Dr. Yeah. Ulfad uh, was saying something like from his uh, her uh, perspective because she knows uh, what are the things in the notes like <laughs> she, she was mentioning about covered. any yes. alternative. Yeah, any alternative there. But I think uh, Dr. Ishpak, whenever you uh, you revise, you will just tell that spontaneously from your side. Like we have this, this, this alternative, but you have to take permission from Dr. Man to do that. Okay, so yeah. I think you will, you'll, you'll recover that. Yeah. Yes, we have yeah. Dr. Muhammad writing many questions. I have asked him to speak, speak them out, and discuss them with Dr. Ishwak especially, because today in, in now situation, Dr. Ishwak is the candidate. So how uh, would you suggest 
the candidates ask how much the relative knows about the condition. Yes, it has mm -hmm. been discussed. Another yes, question sir. about the confidentiality. Because Dr. Muhammad is worried that uh, if husband does not want this to be revealed to his wife. But in this age group, when they come, uh, then there are no surprises, you know. Maybe he's in this age group that his tumor is spreading and must be 60 something, I don't know. So I, mm. even then, yes, could be otherwise around, but. I think in that case, uh, the wife of that patient would uh, like emphasize on that. Please don't tell yes. that to my husband, something like that, right? Yes. That is a cancer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what I feel the situation would be to talk regarding the cancellation of the city uh, scan. Uh, CT scan uh, so, more. Uh, yeah, more. So it will be more like convincing. So I think the, uh, uh, the patient has an idea of the cancer already because six weeks ago, you know, uh, six yes. weeks we're talking about the past. So the tumor cells have come, cancer has been done so you know we are again recapitulating refreshing yes. the patient's mind and uh, i think that's why and uh, about the mri like dr avishek says these are like uh, sophisticated investigations so every time if we are saying we have to say that we have to ask the consultant so yes. yeah that's the thing. Uh, and one and more question about confidentiality uh, here in the west hmm. as soon as the patient comes you write next of kins and if in case of emergency, who to contact and what relation that person has. And if patient has already given consent that this is the number of my wife and you can contact her. All right, situation changes after two, after a while as well. People get separated and divorced as well. But still, uh, if you uh, if she is there and you have to convince her for the CT scan, that means still the record is valid and there is no even if you reveal about the cancer, it's all right. And one thing, ma'am, I have also heard like these stations sometimes come together, like uh, breaking the bad news, like having cancer cells in the uh, aspiration yes. fluid and together the CT scan is also cancelled. Yes. Yeah. So it may Either come also it's like angry that wife I have or both. it's, it's yeah. a breaking bad news. It's the same yes. thing. Yes. Yes. Sometimes together it comes, yeah. Like we have to give two bad news to the patient. First of all, the breaking bad news, and second yes. of all, for, the CT scan is not working. Yes. So then I guess the patient will ask it will if it will cause any harm to the patient, like uh, waiting for this long. Then we can say like yes. for every patient we can do this type of things and all workups within two weeks time frame. So it's not that much late. I guess. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we'll work on these uh, communication skills for Dr. Ishwa. So hopefully he'll become yes, professional by the end yeah. of yes, oh. November, hopefully, or beginning of December already. So okay. Okay, one or two more you'll do and then you'll get the rhythm. You'll come. Yeah, back. of course. Ma yes, ma'am. Yeah. All right. Anyone else want to add anything?